in English-speaking and some other Western countries, a double-barreled name is a family name with two parts, which may or may not be joined with a hyphen. It may also be known as a hyphenated name. An example of a hyphenated double-barreled surname is Moore Towers. An example of an unhyphenated double-barreled surname is Vaughan Williams. In many patrilineal cultures one surname or family name often has just one part, a single patrilineal surname such as Hoyle, Schultz, Dumont, or Mancini. Single surnames may also be matrilineal surnames, or more simply matronames. A double surname may combine two patrilineal surnames, or two matronames, or one of each. The last combination was suggested in the book The Seven Daughters of Eve and is further described in the article Matronym. The term double-barreled surname is an analogy with double-barreled shotgun. Not everyone with a double-barreled surname uses both names a euro for example, the Welsh Rugby Union international player legally known as Sam Kennedy Warburton chooses to be publicly known as Sam Warburton. Formation Double-barreled names may be formed for a variety of reasons. Some are formed when the family names of two people are combined upon marriage, thus forming a new two-part surname, or when children are given a surname combining those of both parents. Double-barreled names may also be used by children who are not brought up by their birth parents to combine the surname of a birth parent with that of an adoptive parent, or the surname of their biological father with that of a stepfather. Other families choose double-barreled names for egalitarian reasons, rejecting the patriarchal custom of consistently passing on only the father's name on principle. Similarly, same-sex couples may want to emphasize equality between partners. In some cases, a child whose parents have divorced may be given or choose to adopt a double-barreled surname. To avoid a double-barreled surname, a few couples create a new blended surname, combining parts of each name into one, such as Philorigosa. Among nobility, in the past especially, if a woman married down from her social status it was common for her and her husband to use a double-barreled name. This was done both so as not to diminish the social status of the woman and to gain for her husband a higher social status. Double-barreled names are sometimes adopted when the man has a common surname such as Smith or Jones which the couple want to avoid after marriage. Hence double-barreled names often incorporate a common surname. For instance, if Mary Howard married John Smith, they could choose to become Mary and John Smith Howard. In this type of hyphenated surname, the husband's comes first. For example, Queen Elizabeth II is Mrs. Mountbatten Windsor. If a wife opts to use her maiden name as well as her husband's surname, no hyphen should be used. Using the hyphen will lead to the misunderstanding that the husband's surname is the wife's maiden name. Some double-barreled names are formed in order to prevent a family name otherwise dying out, because of the lack of males in a generation. Or when valuable property is inherited through the female line with a stipulation that the individual inheriting use the family name. Such is the case with the Harding Rolls family. For same-sex couples and their families, the presumptions of gender are irrelevant. Many agree on one name or another, or combine the two as a double-barreled name. In Spanish and Portuguese-speaking countries, having a non-hyphenated double-barreled surname is the norm, and in some cases it is actually a legal requirement. See the article on Spanish naming customs for more information. Upper-class families A few British upper-class families have triple-barreled surnames. These are sometimes created when one spouse has a double-barreled name and the other has a single surname. Nowadays. Such names are almost always abbreviated in everyday use to a single or double-barreled version. There are even a few quadruple-barreled surnames. The surname of the extinct family of the Dukes of Buckingham and Chandos was the quintuple-barreled Temple Nugent Bridges Chandos Grenville. Captain Leone Sextus Dennis Oswald Ford Atophilius Tolmach Tolmach Diori Lana Plantage Net Tolmach Tolmach is sometimes quoted as the man with the most ever barrels in his surname but in fact all but the last two of these were forenames. Written form, many double-barreled names are written without a hyphen. Notable persons with unhyphenated double-barreled names include David Lloyd George, the composer Ralph Vaughan Williams, Helena Bonham Carter comedian Sacha Baron Cohen, former First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis, and Sylvia Llewellyn Davis. One historic early aviator, 
Alberto Santos Dumont, is known to have not only often used an equal sign between his two surnames in place of a hyphen, but also seems to have preferred that practice, to display equal respect for his father's French ethnicity and the Brazilian ethnicity of his mother. Practices by country, in Spain and most Latin American countries, everyone has a double surname by law, although they are written without a hyphen and most people use only their first surname in everyday use. When a person is born, the custom is for them to take the first surname of the father and then the first surname of the mother. Thus, when D. Julio Iglesias de la Cueva and R. Isabel Preisler Arista had a son called Enrique, he legally was Enrique Iglesias Preisler. Where the optional conjunction Y is used, the example would become Enrique Iglesias Y. Preisler. On the other hand, actual double-barreled names exist, such as Garca Hudobro, Cruz Cocal Par Copyright Res de Arc. For example, Luciano Cruz Coque Carvalho is the son of Mr. Carlos Cruz Cocos and Ms. Luca Carvalho Irrigada. In everyday use Mr. Cruz Coque Carvalho is Mr. Cruz Coque, never Mr. Cruz. In Portugal, where most of the population have two to four surnames, the practice of using a double combination of surnames is very common. The person can either use a paternal and a maternal surname combined or use a double last name that has been passed down through one of the parents. The last surname is usually considered the most important, but people may choose to use another one, often favoring the more sonant or less common of their surnames in their daily or professional life. The use of more than two surnames in public life is less common, but not unusual. In France a recent practice, abolished in 2010, was to use two consecutive hyphens, to distinguish between recently formed double surnames and ancient hyphenated family names. The use of double surnames is legal but not customary. Children generally take on their father's surname or, recently, their mother's. In Canada, especially Quebec, it is not rare for children born since the 1970s to bear both parents' surnames, with no established rules as to whether the father's or mother's name should come first. The situation was frequent enough that naming laws had to be amended in the early 1990s when those with double surnames began to marry, and wished themselves to give their children double surnames. In such cases, any combination involving at most two elements of the father's or the mother's surname is permitted. In Germany a double surname is generally joined with a single hyphen. Other types of double surnames are not accepted by German name law. However, exceptions are made for immigrants and for marriages where the double surname already was the official name of one partner before marriage. A 1993 law forbids surnames with more than two components. Prior to this, it was permitted for adults but their children would not inherit the name. The 1993 ban was upheld by the Constitutional Court in 2009. The crew members of the famous First World War light cruiser SMS A. Emden were allowed to add the name Emden with a hyphen to their surname as a special honor after WWI. In Switzerland double surnames are traditionally written with a hyphen and combine the surnames of a married couple with the husband's surname at first place and the wife's at second. This doubled name is called alliance name. The first name as such, however, is the official family name, which will be inherited by their legitimate children. So, for example, if Werner Steifarscher is married with Gertrude Baumgarten, both can use the name Steifarscher Baumgarten. Their children Heinrich and Verena, however, bear only the surname Steifarscher. Prominent bearers of an alliance name are Michael Line Kami Ray, Eveline Widmer Schlumpf or Johann Schneider Ammann. Lately, based on feminist pressure, wives have been permitted by law to place their maiden name before the family name. This doubled name is written without a hyphen and is borne by the wife only. So, in the example above, the wife's name is Gertrude Baumgarten Steifarscher, while her husband's name is Werner Steifarscher. Again, the children's names remain Heinrich and Verena Steifarscher. In Poland a double surname is generally joined with a hyphen and by law includes only one hyphen. Polish surnames, like those in most of Europe, are hereditary and generally patrilineal, that is, passed from the father on to his children. A married woman usually adopts her husband's name. However, other combinations are legally possible. 
the wife may keep her maiden name or add her husband's surname to hers, thus creating a double name. A married man can also adopt his wife's surname, or add it to his. Doubling of surnames is also practiced by the Dutch. A good example would be the name of its famous footballer, Jan Venegoer of Hesselink. His name derives from the 17th century, when two farming families in the Inchid area of the Netherlands intermarried. Both the Venegu and Hesselink names carried equal social weight, and C Euro rather than choose between theme or Euro they chose to use both. Of in Dutch translates to, or in English, which would mean that a strict translation of his name would read Jan Venegu or Hesselink. In the Philippines and Guam, a child customarily will carry the mother's maiden name as his middle name and carry the father's surname. When the female marries, she keeps her maiden name and adds the husband's surname, but does not typically hyphenate it. So, when Maria Rose Aguin marries Jose Lujan Castro, her name becomes Maria Rose Aguin Castro and their children will typically be, Fornem Aguin Castro. In the United States, some women drop their second given name on marriage and take their husband's surname as their own, making their maiden surname into a middle name. Thus, Mary Elizabeth Brown marries John Smith and after marriage takes the name Mary Brown Smith. This is not, however, a double-barreled surname though it is formed in precisely the same way. This woman becomes Mrs. Smith, not Mrs. Brown Smith, and her maiden surname is not inherited by her children as a surname. In China, double surnames are not common. In fact, practically all surnames in common use are just one syllable long, giving, in combination with a one or two syllable long personal name, a two or three syllable long full name. However, in 2007 experts and officials suggested that parents should be encouraged to create two-syllable surnames for their children by combining their parents' surnames. This could make people's names more unique, and could help solve the problem of widely recurring names. Another circumstance in which a double surname may occur is when a married woman chooses to include her husband's surname with her own on a written document. See also, dual naming, double name. Chinese compound surname, Hungarian names, Iberian naming customs, Portuguese name, Spanish naming customs, Hispanic American naming customs are Euro similar to Spanish customs, but with some differences by country. List of double plus names, references. Bibliography, Burke's Family Index, Burke's Landed Gentry, Burke's Peerage, Parentage, Knightage, and Companionage.